Before we get into this, I want to apologize. I am a little sick right now, as you can probably hear in my voice, so we're going to try to work through this together. But there is this uh, cultural shift that is currently happening in America right now, where there are these different companies that are starting to decide if they want to continue to pursue the woke religion and catering to the woke religion or not. And we have a bunch of companies that are starting to make shifts and changes within their uh, in their policies, in their the products that they put out there in the statements that they make publicly and even even some co uh, companies like Netflix which has been one of the most woke companies out there in recent years is starting to actually uh, d uh, kind of cut away some of that type of nonsense in their in their company and we have another company that is starting to do the same thing and that is EA the video game uh, corporation so EA breaks hearts of woke employees commits to not speaking out on progressive political issues video game powerhouse ea told employees the company would not be issuing statements on hot button political issues there was a push for video game companies to speak out on roe v wade left-wing political newsletter the washington post called all video game companies and told them a list was being kept ea can be put down as a big fat no they knew better, and there was a lot of places that were very similar to this as well that just refused to speak on some of these issues, especially issues like Roe v. Wade. And I think a lot of this has to do with the fallout of what we have seen over the past couple of months with places like Disney and Netflix and CNN Plus and Twitter. There is definitely some sort of shift happening in the cultural climate right now. And we're going to see different companies start to either, uh, you know, just fully just dive in and embrace the woke nonsense like Disney or they're going to start to wheedle back some of that type of stuff like EA or even places like Netflix. At a company-wide town hall meeting, they discussed upcoming games, corporate strategy, and pay raises, things that matter. What's being described as many employees, according to Kotaku, called on the company to make public statements in defense of both abortion and trans rights. It appears just trans rights, no mention of the rest of the alphabet community. Uh, the, those employed were hit with the bad news. The inclusive EA believes being an inclusive company means being inclusive of all points of view. Now, isn't that interesting? This is the common sense um, argument that many of us have had for years now at this point, where, you know, they continue to pr uh, pretend that they are super inclusive and they just want diversity, but then we point out the ways that they aren't being inclusive of certain groups like straight white men or Christians or whatever else, and it just completely just destroys their entire, um, you know, virtue signaling argument that they are being super inclusive because they want to be only inclusive to certain groups of people. They love diversity when it comes to certain groups of people, but when it comes to other groups of people, they don't want to have anything to do with it. They don't want to give them a voice or whatever else. And so what EA is saying here in being an inclusive company mean, means being inclusive of all points of view. That is exactly what we have been asking for. That is what we have wanted for years now at this point. <coughs> Excuse me. Thought Chief Police Officer. Thought Chief Police Officer. Wow. Or People Officer. Sorry. Thought Chief People Officer. That is an in interesting job title. Um... Mela Singh uh, pledged to speak out when the company felt they can have a possible impact. She went on to say, these things are hard and they're personal and we all have our own perspectives and sometimes we won't speak and that will be upsetting and I understand that. So, like I said, we are living in very interesting times right now where there is definitely something happening. There is some sort of shift happening. This doesn't mean that we have won. This doesn't mean that the culture war is over. This doesn't mean that we can just, you know, sit back at our haunches and enjoy the victory lap because we haven't gotten there yet. There is no victory to be truly proud of yet. There is no victory yet that we should be celebrating because we still have a long way to go in the culture war. So with that being said, as much as I love seeing companies like EA and Netflix and some of these other companies start to actually, you know, realize that they are going to fall apart if they don't start to, uh, you know, make changes, 
there's still a long way to go. There are still a lot of things out there that need to be changed. And we are only just getting started. So let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'd appreciate that a lot. Make sure you share this video as well. I'd appreciate that. And I will talk to you all in another video very soon.